Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Leopard 10.5.6 onto a PC computer. So your first step is to open your web browser, whatever one you have, and then you're going to download something called uTorrent. That's U-T-O-R-R-E-N-T. -R -R -E so you search that in the Google search bar, and then you'll get a page that looks like this, and then click it very first link and then you click the free download this will pop up and then you press save file but I've already downloaded it so I am not going to click that I'm going to click cancel okay so then you will go through the installation of that program and you'll end up with a screen that looks like this okay now it's safe to just close that. Now you're going to go back to your web browser and you are going to go to Google again and type in IPC Torrent and then click enter and it's the very first link and then you're going to click that and then you're going to click download this torrent this will pop up make sure it's set for open with uTorrent default and then you're going to click OK but I've already downloaded this so I'm just going to click cancel and then this is a rather big file it's 3.31 gigs so you're going to wait for that to download and then what you're going to do once you have the file is I actually have the file on a different computer but I will use one of my other ones for an example so let's say eSegment so you're gonna right click your IPC folder once it's done downloading and then you are gonna go down to stop so you're not uploading any files if you have a download limit or you can be nice and see now you are gonna click open containing folder and there will be it will not look like this this is a different file but there will be a file in there that's an ISO file and then you will burn that to a disk which I have right here so you're going to burn that file to a DVD-R you need a DVD burner to burn to a DVD disk so then once that file is burnt to a disk you're going to restart your computer and you are going to go into your BIOS options now I have an HP so for HP I press escape and then I press F10 to get into my BIOS okay now that you're in your BIOS you want to set your boot options so it's the CD-ROM boot enabled and then boot order and then you want to switch it so that it's booting off your CD-ROM drive first and then your hard drive so I am going to change those values quick so as you can see I have my internal CD-ROM drive booting first and then my notebook hard drive booting second and then I'm going to press F10 to save and then I'm going to exit saving changes now I'm going to open my disk tray Put the disc that we just burned inside of my computer. Okay, then we're going to close it and we're going to restart the computer again and start it back up. Now it should look, just to give it a moment, something like this. You'll see the little loader up there in the corner. And it will load the disk. Just give it a sec, it sometimes takes a moment. There it goes. Now you want to press F8 before the timer runs out. And then you'll see this little clicker down there. It says boot and a flashing thing. Then you're going to type negative V. And then enter. And don't be afraid about all the fancy text and stuff showing up and all the files loading 
it will take a moment and this is natural if it stops though you might have a problem with your disc or your burn because this is supposed to continue through um, usually I know a lot of people that will get uh, waiting for root server or root device error and uh, they just reburnt it and everything works fine for now we are going to wait for this all to load up and then I will be right back because this takes about anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes so I'll see you once this is done loading okay so now that that's all done you'll get a screen that looks like this and it will take a moment or two to load up depending on how fast your computer is and there we go so then you have settings for language so I'm picking the default English because that's what I speak click the little arrow down there and it's going to go preparing installation now this will take a moment like I said depending on how fast your computer is and what have you so yeah just going to wait for that now any second um, the specs for my computer just in case you guys are wondering how slow it might go on yours I have an AMD dual core processor with well that's not really important now but okay so then we'll get to this screen here and then we want to click continue And then the terms of services will come up, and we want to click agree, which is over here, bottom right hand. So then we'll click agree. It will say select a destination. This is where you want to install uh, Leopard 10.5.6. Now I've already done what I needed to to get this, but most likely your screen will be blank, and you will not have a hard drive to select. So in order to fix this. There's the gray bar at the top here. We're going to go to Utilities, which is up here. And then we're going to scroll down to Disk Utility. And just give that a second. Generating disk information. Okay, so here's what we got here. This is the screen. Now what you want to do is, if you just want to install Mac OS X, that's it. You don't want a dual boot. That you should have already created a partition in Windows 7 to put your Mac OS X onto. Now, you want to name your partition. So we go to Erase over here. So we'll select Erase, which is right beside First Aid. And then this will most likely be set to MS-DOS FAT. So you want to change that to Mac OS Extended Journal. Now that is key. And then you are going to name your partition, whatever you want. In this case, I named mine Mac OS X. 